Today's problem is from binomial distribution. In today's video, we have to solve a coin is biased in a way that a head is twice as likely to occur as a tail. If a coin is tossed three times, find the probability of getting two tails and one head. See, a coin is biased in a way that a head is, see here, a head is twice as likely as to occur as a tail. A head is twice as likely to occur as a tail. If a coin is tossed how many times? Three times. Here n is given as three. Find the probability of getting two tails and one head. See, so it's so simple if you understand these steps. First of all, what is given? A head is given that probability of a head is equal to a head is twice two times of as likely to occur as a tail. So the probability of occurring a tail. Probability of occurring a head is equal to twice the probability of occurring a tail. So this is the meaning of this. This is the mathematical statement. That is the probability that a head is twice as likely to occur as a tail. And next, if a coin is tossed n times, so given that n is equal to 3. And we have to find out the probability of getting two tails and one head. See here, as you know that the total probability. So which probability? The total probability. That is the probability of getting a head plus the probability of getting a tail is always unity, is always equal to unity. Here we have probability of Getting a head is twice the probability of getting a tail. So in place of probability of H, I am writing two times of probability of getting a tail plus probability of tail is equal to 1. So 2 plus 1. So this is three times of probability of getting a tail is equal to 1. Therefore, probability of getting a tail is equal to 1 by 3. So if we consider, see here, let getting a tail let getting a tail is a success and getting a head and getting a head is failure then see here probability of getting a tail is equal to 1 by 3 and now we have the total probability is equal to, the total probability is equal to 1. Therefore, the probability of tail plus head or head plus tail is always equal to 1. So, if I substitute here as a probability of tail is 1 by 3, then probability of head plus 1 by 3 is equal to 1. Then, the probability of head is equal to 1 minus 1 by 3. The probability of head is equal to 3 times of, this is 3 minus 1. The probability of getting a head is equal to, this is 2 by 3. Therefore, we got the probability of getting a head and probability of getting a tail. And also, we have n is equal to 2. Now, we have to calculate the probability of getting two tails and one head. See here. This is also so simple. If you follow the steps here, that is probability of uh, tail is equal to 1 by 3. And probability of head is equal to, this is 2 by 3. And n is equal to 3. So, this is what we have calculated. Probability of tail 1 by 3. Probability of head is equal to 2 by 3. And we have n is equal to, so we have n, n value is equal to 3. Now, I am going to calculate the probability of getting two tails and one head. So, probability of getting, now, the probability of getting two tails. Now, the probability of getting how many tails? Getting two tails and one head. So, this is nothing but, so as we have a formula that P of uh, x is equal to r is equal to according to the binomial distribution this is ncr this is p par r this is q par n minus r and here we have to choose how many tiles we have to choose so we have two tails here 
therefore the probability of x is equal to 2 is equal to n c r what is n here this is 3 c 2 what is our p p value is nothing but 1 by 3 per r and this is 2 by 3 q is equal to 2 by 3 per n minus r see here 1 by 3 getting tails so getting two tails here so this is nothing but 3 c 2 1 by 3 square and this is 2 by 3 power 1 getting two tails and getting one head see here two tails so 1 by 3 is nothing but a success success of getting a tail so for two times and 2 by 3 is nothing but the probability of getting a head for one time so this is the thing ncr is nothing but n factorial by n minus r factorial into r factorial or else there is a shortcut two times take two backward steps and two front steps and this is 1 by 3 square into 2 by 3 so this is nothing but 12 by 2 into this is 2 by 3 cube so 2 by 3 cube so if i cancel this one this is 12 by 3 into 3 into 3 so this goes in four times this is the value 4 by 9 so 4 divided by 9 is nothing but 0 0.444. The chances of getting 2 tail and 1 head is 0 0.444. See here there is a mistake here. So 2 backward steps. So this should be a backward step. So here this is 2. And see this will be 6. And this will be 6. So, if I cancel, this will be 2 and this is 2 again. So, the answer here is 2 by 9. Therefore, the probability of getting 2 heads, 2 tails and 1 head is nothing but this is 2 by 9. This is how we have to solve. And thank you so much for watching and staying till the end. And I will be uploading many more videos related to this series. Have a look at those and practice well and pass it on to your friends.